All right, everyone, welcome. My name is Maria and I'm an Emerald Ambassador. I am your host tonight for uh, Sharing Plexus Helps Others and it also helps you. So if you're a new person, a new ambassador, we wanna welcome you tonight. If you're a seasoned ambassador, also want to welcome you. So I know we have um, Donna's new ambassador on here tonight. So welcome, welcome, welcome. You're jumping in right in the niche of time with our, with our products and with our company. So first of all, you're probably wondering, how does it help me to share, to share with others, right? Well, here it is. First of all, I wanna ask you a question. You don't have to answer it out loud. You can type it up in the chat. Um, how did you first hear about Plexus? Just think about that. For myself, I first heard about Plexus on Facebook, social media. It could, for you, it could be social media. It could be word of mouth. It could be possibly seeing another person drink that pink drink. Um, it could be anything. So just think about that. How did you first hear about Plexus? Okay. Um, there are more than one way to share plexus and like i said it could be word of mouth it could be posting on social media some saw somebody drink uh that famous pink drink and shaking it up um plexus does not pay for advertising so you won't see us in stores you won't see us on billboards you won't see any commercials for it so what plexus our company does is that they take that money that they would pay for advertising and they pay you the person with membership. So all of us, if you're sharing, you get a piece of that pie and you get that's compensation so you can help get your products paid for or even get your products at a bigger discount. Um, I know a lot of us on here uh, joined for the discount um, with a membership. I, I, I know I did and I know I think most of us here did. So um, sharing is super important. I'm gonna take a look at my notes a lot over here because I've got some notes. I don't want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, Maria, I can't share. There's just no way. Uh, I just want to do this for myself. Uh, I, I won't tell anybody because I want to see what it does for myself first. I was in your shoes when I first joined. I thought, no, there's no way I'm sharing. There's no way I'm telling anybody. It's just for myself and my spouse, and that's it. Um, but just think of there is there's a smidge possibility of you sharing with others and by sharing it's it can be any way okay so just be open to this sharing thing okay because we're not selling people confuse selling with sharing and it's definitely not selling i am not a good salesperson people tell me oh you're so good at selling i'm like i am the worst salesperson you could possibly see i share what i like and what i love and what i'm passionate about and i think that's what makes the biggest difference in this business um keep in mind again when we think about sharing that there's ways different ways uh if you have your favorite restaurant your favorite coffee place your favorite tanning place you recommend that you have your favorite mascara i tell all my friends about my mascara and i say oh my gosh you have to go to the store and get it and actually you get it at ulta and i like that you know it gives me full eyelashes well guess what that mascara is not paying me that company has no idea that i'm representing or even sharing their product nike okay my husband wears nike outfits a lot or uh, shirts and nike does not pay him okay but yet he's sharing it because he's wearing it right kind of get the idea of sharing yeah okay so when i first enrolled i like i said i wanted nothing to do with sharing i just thought we're just going to get the products at wholesale price because i wanted them cheaper and i thought yeah we'll give it a try for you know three to six months and then after that you know it's it's a done deal um but the thing is that I saw what happened. I saw what these products did for me in that first week. I saw what they did to my husband in that first week. And though they may, may seem like very little tiny things like, um, you know, the cravings, because that's not tiny. Cravings, I, I've had ugly cravings for so long and nothing got rid of those cravings. Uh, I started sleeping through the night. I used to take melatonin to sleep. I didn't take melatonin anymore. I actually slept through the night. Uh, I used to drink four cups of coffee. I didn't drink four cups of coffee that first week. I couldn't finish one cup of coffee. So as little as it sounds, it's actually a bigger issue that it was addressing and I had no idea. Uh, but those little things started com compiling and getting bigger and bigger. And then I saw uh, health, my health change and my husband's health change. So um, I started seeing all those positive changes 
and then also started reading testimonies. I'm like, okay, what is in this stuff that is working? Why does it help so many things? So I started reading testimonies. And in this testimonies, I could see helping from, you know, one end of the spectrum to an other end of the spectrum. I'm like, why is it that this works? Like, what's the magic in here? So I got more and more intrigued. So I started doing uh, more reading about testimonies and products and whatnot um, on the team pages. So I, like I said, I became pretty passionate about it and I started to share. Um, here's the one thing, uh, okay, I told you guys about sleeping, my cravings, my coffee, and all of that. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, I gotta see first if it helps me, right? I gotta see, oh my gosh, somebody's calling me from Tulsa. I know Jen's on here. Well, no, Jen's not in Tulsa. <laughs> Okay, that is funny. Okay, so you're probably thinking, I gotta think, I gotta see what these products do for me first and then take it from there. Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Let your fear and pride away. Okay, put that aside because fear and pride is not gonna get us anywhere, okay? You're thinking I'm crazy. You're thinking, oh my gosh, Maria, there's no way I'm gonna share. Well, let me tell you, when I first talked to Jen about possibility about sharing, I thought Jen was crazy and I thought, oh my gosh, you're crazy. There's no way I can share about this. There's no way. Uh, I did my first post and I'll tell you, when I did that first post, I wanted to hide under my bed and I kept checking my phone to see who had liked or who had commented. And I went back and it took a while to get a first like. It took a while to get that first comment. Okay, and I'm like, oh my gosh, people think I'm crazy. They're thinking like, what has Maria got into? And I dreaded looking at my phone after a while because I didn't want to see anything. And, um, but you'd be surprised. People didn't like or commented. They actually private messaged me. And they said, okay, Maria, tell me about this. What are you taking? What's it doing? Um, people don't want to be known that they're liking or commenting because sometimes when they like or comment on your post, it tells another person that they liked or comment on your post. And a lot of people like to be quiet and hush hush, confidential, they don't want anybody to know. So we can keep it private. So I guarantee you that they are looking to find out and see more of what you've got to share. And it doesn't matter how big or how small it is, share your journey, share, share, share. If you slept through the night, Share that. That is so simple, but yet again, so many of your friends and family are suffering with insomnia, okay? Uh, if you share like, oh my gosh, I just had the best sleep ever, like in within five years, I haven't slept through the night. Thank goodness for my natural supplements that have helped me get a good night's sleep. I can guarantee you that at least you're going to have one, if not more than a handful of people that are going to read that and see like, oh my gosh, I don't sleep through the night. What is she taking? Okay, that's so simple, all right? Or if your cravings have gone away, you're like, oh my gosh, I used to go through my candy drawer every day through the kitchen and grab Skittles and put them in my mouth. I can't believe I just walked past my candy jar and didn't reach out for Skittles. That also can help reach other people. Um, so put your fear aside and put your pride back because what you are not sharing is also keeping people away from knowing what you have. And what you have is has so much value. There are people that pray to find something that works. There are people going to bed at night thinking, "Am my headaches, are my headaches ever going to go away? Am I ever going to sleep through the night? How am I going to pay for this loan? How are we going to pay for our monthly rent? How are we going to pay for our mortgage? How am I going to get food on the table? How am I going to you know, get money to pay for school supplies when I can't even pay our monthly rent. So there's people struggling and praying every single night to find answers. And you may have that answer. You just, you just might, you just never, never, never know. There are people in your life, in Facebook, in your close family, in your close circle of friends that are struggling and that you have no idea that they're struggling because people struggle in silent. People um, will, will have headaches and migraines, depression, anxiety, can't sleep through the night. Um, you know, did I say depression? They probably binge eat. They probably have acid reflex. I mean, there's so many things that people struggle and they don't tell anybody about. And if you happen to make that one post that could potentially have them think, I wonder if this could be for me. Just that little grain of possibility would be enough to message and to reach out to you and say, hey, I, I, can you please tell me more about this? 
and that opens a window of opportunity, a window of hope to someone else. And you here, we thought that, oh my gosh, there's no way I could put myself out there. There's no way I could share about these products. There's no way. I don't want anybody to find out that I'm taking supplements. I want nobody. But think about how you could potentially help someone else just by putting that post. Or if you're out of family function or at work, listen, listen to cues. If you're scrolling through Facebook, I have a lot of my friends that post that they wish they could stay home, you know, with their kids. They're going back to work. Mondays, I have a lot of mommy friends that are, you know, uh, three months came up and they went back to work and they're going to work crying in tears the following Monday because they have to leave, leave their baby at home with a babysitter or a childcare or something like that. And that just gives me chills. I'm like, I used to be like that. I used to cry when I first had my baby, my both little girls and take them to childcare. I cried. I was a sobbing mess and I took them to my mother. Now imagine these other women who are taking them and paying childcare to a complete stranger. And I have something that could potentially help them you bet I'm going to reach out to them. So I listen to cues, read cues in your Facebook in day to day at work with your coworkers. If they're constantly going back for that coffee pot, if they're just falling asleep at three o'clock in the afternoon, if you have a friend that just has constant migraines, if you have a friend that struggles with balancing their blood sugars, hormones, I mean, you get it. The list goes on and on. I guarantee you that you know somebody that struggles with something that you haven't reached out to them just yet or you haven't made that first post. Think about how that one post or sharing or talking to them could change their life. Just think about that for a second. And you may think, okay, but first I need to see what it does for me. And then what will it do for them? Here's the thing, that everybody is completely different. No body, no personal physical body, mentally and physically is exactly the same. Everybody's completely different. So what you struggle with, somebody else might be struggling with something differently. If it takes you five to six weeks to see a change, if it took you five to six weeks to drop five pounds, to regulate your blood sugars, to get rid of your migraines, to get rid of, uh, um, to balance your high blood pressure, anything, it may take you five to six weeks. But what if it takes your friend or family member two to five days, seven to five days? See, that's a possibility because we've seen people who have seen a change immediately within the first day. So don't compare yourself to others. Please don't. Um, you know, and you're thinking about, well, what can I post? What can I say? And as you're signing up an ambassador, you're signing up somebody, a customer or somebody, ask them, hey, you know, how about setting up a, a first post, you know, telling the world? Because remember when you first joined, you were crazy, excited, you were anxious, and you kept checking that mailbox. You kept thinking, oh my gosh, is my product here? When's it going to get here? And you reach out to your sponsor and you're thinking, hey, how long does this stuff take to get here? Well, it's kind of funny and ironic because it took them what? It took me six to eight months to finally initially dig into it, yet I want my product to be here instantly, right? We all hear that, and, and that's fine. So uh, the, the first thing time you share, it could be something like super, like this, like say, hey, I'm trying this new supplement called Plexus. It helps with better sleep, better energy, digestive issues, immune health, and less cravings, and some other things. Or you can say whatever else. Does anyone want to try this with me? It's like you're asking for an accountability partner. You're inviting somebody to come join you. Do you ever go to uh, the gym and ask your friend, hey, let's go to the gym? Or you ask your neighbor, hey, let's just go walk around the block. Do you want to join me? It's that simple. There's nothing bigger, nothing um, different about it. And here's another thing. There's a money back guarantee. So when you're sharing with someone else, it, it's not your fault or don't be scared if it doesn't work for them, okay? There's a money back guarantee. It may, may not work for them, but you know what? You at least put that bug in their ear. And helping others, when was the last time you opened the door for somebody at the grocery store? If, say it was an elder person and you helped them carry their bags to the car, maybe they dropped something and you picked it up. It feels good, right? Because they greeted you back with that smile. I asked my husband, hey, how do you feel when you help somebody? He's like, oh, it feels awesome, it feels good. It feels like I complete it, like I achieved something. How do you feel when you help somebody? So take that same feeling when you help somebody and think about it here with a bigger, bigger picture, right? You're talking about health. You're talking about things that they pray for at night, but to find answers. So how will you feel when that person finds relief from 
their pain, their arthritis. They're, um, they feel better. They're, they're feeling like they can get up and walk and, and, you know, just do things, see the light in the day. You're going to feel pretty amazing. And guess what? They're going to come back to thank you. I can guarantee that a lot of the people on here have gotten a lot of messages from friends and family and to say, thank you so much for helping me out or thank you so much. Or what if they say, I slept through the night, you know, today my spouse, my husband got a message and said, uh, his friend, his cravings were going away. He was sleeping through the night. He had had, he's had insomnia for the last six years and he slept through the night. Think about how my husband feels. Think about how his friend feels. It feels so good. So helping others helps you feel good. It feel, makes you feel fulfilled. It's, it's our, um, it's our gift that we can pass on to anybody else. Um, I will tell you something about here, and I'm not bragging by any means, okay? Uh, again, going back to the title, how does helping others help you, okay? First of all, um, because I shared with my, with my husband, my husband shared with his friends, I shared with my mom, and then close friends, and then those close friends shared with other people, uh, I'm, what I'm going to tell you, I'm not bragging by any means, but I've been sharing Plexus for three years, three years and four months. I'm now an Emerald ambassador. I had no idea. I did not want this business. I did not want to share. And a lot of us on here will tell you that this is an accidental business. And it truly is. As an Emerald ambassador, um, our company, your company, pays for the Lexus that's parked outside of this hotel. They pay for a lot of the stuff that I am able to purchase. They help pay for my products. They help me be a stay at home mom. Um, I have about over, last I checked, over 1300 people on my team. You guys, I didn't sponsor all those 1300 people. I'm not, no one to claim for those 1300 people. It's because of people like you, you know, like you who have shared your stories, you have shared testimony after testimony with someone else. And I get goosebumps when I talk about this because I look at Christy and I, and, and I know that, you know, it's helped her tremendously. I look at Maria and I know her testimony, Kelly, you know, I know all my level one stories and they've shared and because they shared, they've, you, you are here as a level two, a level three, you are here. And it just, it just goes to show how how it's a ripple effect and it grows okay so I'm not bragging here but out of those 1300 people it's because of people like Christy like Maria like Kelly uh, I don't see any other level ones on here but because of them it shared and they shared and they shared okay um, so it's not about helping others you know three months two months until I have a testimony it's about helping others right now in this moment in this moment is when we want to help people. Don't wait till you have a testimony, okay? Because your testimony might not be what they're looking for. You see, I didn't have migraines. I thank God I didn't have migraines. But my friend Brenda shared, and she didn't have migraines either, but somehow it reached to Christy. Sorry, Christy, I'm talking about, because I see you right here. I see your smiling face. And because Brenda shared, and this will always stick in my mind, Christy would have never had her life, her health turned around. Okay. I'm using Christy as an example. Sorry to put you on the spot here. You guys, Christy used to have 19 migraines a month and she used to count them because her doctor told her to keep a journal. Okay. 19 migraines, the ones that knock you out cold in a dark room, shut the windows, those kinds of migraines. Christy has dropped a tremendous amount of weight, but it's not just the weight. It's also the RXs, her blood sugars, uh, Christy's a complete new person. She's happier. She's healthier. She's moving. Okay. Had Brenda not shared, Christy wouldn't have had this change in her health. Had I not shared, Brenda wouldn't have not told Christy. And it just goes on and on and on. Okay. They have big teams, but it's not about the team. It's about helping people. And because of these amazing testimonies, these amazing products that you know of change lives. That's what this is about. Helping others helps you. And I don't know if you are yellow, but a lot of us in here I know have a little bit of yellow or a lot of yellow that we are here to help people. We're in the helping business people. Uh, we're in the business of helping people. That's what we are. We are life changers. We're hope. We give hope. Hope dealers. That's what we are. So what I want Sorry, sorry, Christy, I love you. <laughs> but those are happy tears. Those are so happy tears. Um, but just think about your experience, whether it's small, can be big to someone else. 
it could be so big because it brings hope to those people. Okay. So again, if, if it's as little as energy, if it's as little as sleep, cravings, sleeping through the night, no coffee, no soda, passing up the sweets, uh, your blood sugar's leveling out, those kinds of things, no pain, you share it. It doesn't matter. When Jen first told me, um, I came to Jen and said, hey, Jen, how can I make $1,000? Um, because I started to get compensated for something that I had no idea what it was. <laughs> I just started getting checks and I think, okay, Jen, how do I make $1,000? And she told me three simple things. And those were take your products consistently every single day, share what they're doing for you. Okay. I'm three years in now and I still, I, this, I'm guilty of this because I don't share what these products have done for me because I forgot what it was like to not sleep through the night. I forgot what it was like to have 17, 18 pounds overweight. I forgot what it was like to depend on coffee. I don't share those things, but I want you to share it. Go back to, to where you first started. If you're new on here, please share what it's done for you. As little as it be, go out and share it because that is what is going to help other people. Okay, um, if you don't have anything just yet, borrow a testimony, borrow someone else's experience. I borrowed Christy right now, Christy's experience with you all right now. Share, 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 because there's something out there for someone that you know. Um, everybody has different struggles, okay? If you see a friend post that they can't sleep through the night, Put that fear aside and put that pride aside and reach out and just say, hey friend, I saw that you didn't sleep last night. I'm so sorry. I used to be able to not sleep and I can totally feel your pain. It's just, I felt miserable. I tossed and turned and the following day I just dragged. I know what you're going through. Can I send you a story of one of my friends and just leave it out there, question mark. And they're going to say, most definitely, oh gosh, you, there might be a little bit back and forth. Send them a testimony. Find a testimony. Find a story that deals with, with um, problem sleeping. And let that story do its work. Then you can share something from our back office. We have amazing tools in your account uh, about ProBio5 or the triplex and how that can help with uh, regulating, you know, the good and bad bacteria in your body. Okay, it's so simple. You don't have to know it all. I thought that I had to know everything. That's why I was so scared to post because I'm like, what if they ask me questions? And what am I going to say? You know, don't worry about that. Use your upline. Three-way messages are crucial. Put them on a three-way message with your upline and they will take over the conversation. Um, share educational articles. If I find an article about um, gut health and sleeping or insomnia, I'm going to share it. I'm going to put it out there and just say with a little blurb, what sticks out to me about this article? And I'm going to put it out there because I'm also educating people. I'm not educating, educating strictly about my product, but I'm educating that there's a problem with sleeping and gut health and our products address gut health. Okay. Share tidbits about plexus. One of the things that I love about our products are the ingredients. Uh, just recently on my team page, we were dissecting ingredients in each product. So if you find something that stands out like chromium in the pink drink, put that out there and just say, oh my gosh, did you know that chromium is in our famous pink drink? Look at all the benefits. So simple. It might catch the eye of someone and they may reach out to you. And it's so easy to just post and share that. Um, again, if this is something that I want you to think about, not sharing plexus is making your friends or family wait longer for something that they've been waiting for. Just think about that. Not sharing plexus right now is making your friends or family wait longer to have their own health, uh, restored. Just think about that. And you're probably thinking, yeah, it's not for me. What's it going to, what's it going to do for them? Remember, everybody's completely different. Um, you may not know what it's going to do for you. If you first joined, you're still probably wondering, oh, you know, I'll just wait a little longer. I don't know what it's going to do for me. Let me tell you this. You also don't know what it's going to do for your friends and family who are struggling. You do not know what it's going to do for them. So just think about that. Um, Here's, and then just know that we are backed up by a 60 day money back guarantee that I stress that over and over again, because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder if it'll help them. You know, yes, it will. Yes, it will. They just have to take the product and be consistently. Okay. Um, 
now you're thinking, okay, now how is this going to help me? You know, like, how is it going to help me? Of course, it's going to make you feel like a million dollars because you helped your friends. Okay. But also when friends join you, see our compensation plan is incredible. We get paid 11 different ways. I'm not going to go into the compensation plan because uh, Elizabeth Guyver, our other Emerald Upline, did a training on this last week. And so there's a recording for it on the compensation plan. But if you have friends join you, you get bonuses for that okay so if you have a small group of friends it's going to help you be successful on your products it's going to have you help you be consistent and it's also going to form accountability for you okay just like we said going to the gym going walking with a friend okay it's the same 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 purpose uh, if you have three or four of them start with you guess what that means possibly free product for you like your triplex could be possibly paid for um, or you can even have it at a bigger, bigger, bigger discount. So if you're thinking, um, you know, Plexus is expensive, okay? It's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either, okay? It does cost about $100, $130 a month to take your product, to, to take, you know, that's what it costs for a monthly product. But like I said, it's not a lot, but it's not cheap either. So some people will possibly say, well, you know, I couldn't afford it. Well, if we come back to have them help their friends and they get that compensation, they're gonna get their product paid for. That's how we do this. And they also have the small groups, the accountability, success, they're gonna be successful in it. Um, they have the accountability and they're gonna be consistent because they're taking the product and they wanna check in with their small circle of friends to make sure that they're doing the same. Okay, so I wanna refer you back to Elizabeth's training last week about the compensation plan. Um, waiting to share is not helping others. Just think about that. There's people out there, and I cannot stress this enough. I know I said this over and over. I don't want to make you feel bad, but if you don't share, I kind of think it's a little bit selfish to not share what these life-changing products could do. Um, let your fear and your pride away. Okay. A uh, couple things too. Um, I know you're thinking, well, how do I do this? How do I tell people? Okay, if you're out at a barbecue, like I said, with friends and family, if you're watching people, if you're scrolling on Facebook and you see a friend post about something, just listen for cues. Listen. I think a lot of the times we talk so much that we forget to listen. Uh, there's a quote, and I forget who said it, but they said, God gave us two ears and one mouth. So that means that we need to listen more and speak less. Um, listen for those cues. And then then you can talk after those cues and then um, super important. So let's see here, make sure that I don't listen. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so want to share something here. I didn't think I had a testimony. For the longest time, I didn't want to share because I didn't think I had a testimony. I thought, well, you know, mine's not special because I would read testimonies and there were like bigger health issues. And I'm like, well, thank God I don't have a bigger health issue, right? Because I thought, well, energy, you know, people will drink coffee for energy. People uh, will sleep with melatonin, whatever. You know, but those are big things. Those are small things that lead to a bigger thing. If I didn't take care of these things early on, it would have led to bigger health issues down the road, okay? So I kept thinking, I don't have a testimony to share. But your story is your story. And no one can take your story away from you. The people that you know, know you. And you validate what you say because it comes from your mouth. If you're, if you're sleeping through the night, if you're not yawning at, at work, people can see that. If you're not drinking pop at work, people will notice that. If you're drinking more water, people will notice that. If you're passing up on the donuts at work, people are noticing that. Okay, Those, that is your story. A little bit about my story. I was on unemployment when I first started, okay? I was able to quit unemployment because of this amazing blessing that Plexus brings us. And now I'm thinking, gosh, what am I thinking? I thought I didn't have a testimony, but yes, I do. Mine is, you know, we have my husband's story on thyroid, on sleep apnea, on, um, I'm sorry. Oh, he's asleep now. <laughs> uh, sleep apnea. Um, oh, PTSD and anxiety. So I use his story. Okay. My story is energy, coffee, um, cravings, but it's also unemployment and it's also being able to stay at home with my kids. And I know that I can relate to a lot of moms out there that are want to be stay at home moms that are on unemployment. So think about what your story is and share your story because no one else has your story. 
if you think it's not a real testimony, yes, it is. Okay, each one of you have a story. Share it and then follow up. Make sure that you, whoever you say, whoever comes back and asks you, wants to know a little bit about it, write their name down. Make sure you have a system, okay? So it benefits you by, um, you get compensated, you might grow a team. You just never know. A lot of the people on here have gone silver, have gone gold, ruby, emerald, senior ruby. And these are all lives changed. Not just one, two, three, four, five. It's hundreds and thousands of lives changed. I never dreamed that I could help so many people. And it's because I helped my friends and family and then they helped more and more people. So it's a ripple effect. Helping others makes you feel like a million bucks. Um, so how do you share? Um, I'm going to get into this briefly. I know I've gone too long now, but um, posting on social media, I just want you to be creative. Just share, like I said, share your story, share what the products are doing for you. Be creative. You don't have to copy and paste every post because that loses credibility. You know, and like, gosh, did Maria really write this? I'm not a big writer, you guys. Sometimes it's hard for me to express myself. I'd rather say it in, in voice than to write a long, lengthy post because I, people know that. So if I was to go post a long lengthy post, people are going to like, Oh, Maria didn't write that. That's not Maria's words. So immediately they're going to know. So just be true to what you have to say, what catches your eye and just put it out there. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink the process. Just put it out there. Um, if you're copying and pasting, I know with, with plexus, we have the one plexus, um, community and, um, I, I can share a post that Maria made. I can share a post that Holly made, but I want to put my own twist into it, okay? Because um, that wording, I wanted to have my warning. If it's a testimony, I'm going to say, oh my gosh, you have to read uh, Susie's testimony, like her story. This is my friend, and this is what I love about her story. And then you can say Susie said and so whatnot, but try not to copy word for word unless it is a testimony or educational um, um, paragraph or or post, okay? When somebody sees your post, reach out to them. If somebody um, messages you, keep that in mind and follow up. It's okay to follow up, okay? You're not, you're not um, bugging them. They came to you, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see here, okay. Twist maybe, okay. So another thing here, I, you know, cold messaging is, is good, but it's not, it's not for me. It may, may be not be for you, okay? I know that um, I feel a little bit uncomfortable when I send out a message to somebody, unless it's something that I'm pushing for, and I feel like, okay, I'm just going to put myself out there. But try to be genuine. This is what I try to tell people. Like, okay, you know, if we're doing a power half hour, I, I think I send like three messages because I make it personable. I make it reaching out to them because if I know that my friend Lisa was having, um, you know, uh, you know, high blood pressure or something. I saw that she was picking up her medication from the pharmacy or something. I'm going to say, Hey Lisa, I know that you struggle with this. What would you be open to me sharing the story with you? So instead of sharing something where it's copy and paste, I might just take a little bit more time and be genuine about how my intentions are about helping her. And so it doesn't become too salesy. Okay. So something to keep in mind, build, build um, relationships with people. Okay, I'm big on building relationships with people. And how do you do that? You go and comment on their page. You go send them a private message. I know I haven't seen friends from high school for like 20 years. So I just maybe go like and comment on their kids' pictures, on their puppy pictures. Those kind of connect with them. And um, do this daily. Connect with people, uh, different people every day. Uh, show them your part and how you are interested in helping them. Add value to it. And they will appreciate that so much more. I just recently um, watched a video about Bob Heilig, and Bob Heilig is a big trainer in MLM, uh, multi-level marketing. And he said, he suggests do one video, and if you like to do live videos, go for it. I'm still kind of a little uh, fear of them. I'm here, I'm talking to you guys about not being fearful, but you know, I am a little bit. But in this, in, in this, he says, make a video about something. So let's say, for example, you have a refrigerator and you have meal prepped. Take a picture or talk about your meal prepping and use that video to add value to what you're going to post the following week. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant because oftentimes I run out 
things to say. You know, sometimes my kids aren't being fun <laughs> and I don't want to take pictures of them or my puppy or whatever it is. I'm like, what am I going to post about? There's days that I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to post about. So he said, take that video the first of the week and then each day post about, you know, your meal prepping. Uh, how you organize. Maybe one day it's about the Tupperware where you choose to store your, your, your food. The other day it could be about which veggies go well with heating or overheating, which, you know, um, washing all this Tupperware is also another thing. Uh, why you meal prep, how it makes it easier for you. So each day you have a topic. You see what I mean? And so I loved about this. I thought, okay, that adds value. And people might be interested in learning more about that. Uh, if you have puppies, if you have dogs, if you have kids, share about that. If you have a passion for walking, running, going to the gym, if you have a hobby, you know, if you have a, a gift that others don't have, and we all have different gifts, talk about those. So those are all good, good, good ways. Um, last and not least, I'm just going to say, when you're posting on social media, try to stay away from being salesy, okay? Try to not just post pictures of, or graphics of, of products, okay? Instead, if you can take a picture, let's just pretend like this is my ProBio 5, and I'm just taking a picture. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a gem. This is my, my sleep, you know, my, um, my magic pill, pill to help me sleep or something like that. And you can write, you know, what it helps you with. Um, so instead, posting pictures of you and the product versus just the product itself or a graphic of the product. Videos are amazing. We just talked about videos. People want to know what you say. And then I also read that if you make your posts short, people tend to read them more versus a long post. So if you can make a post readable within 30 seconds, you have more audience come in. Okay. Um, don't post your website. A couple little short tip there. Don't post your website because when you post your website, it's really salesy. You don't want somebody who just sees your website and is going to go order product. You want to have that interaction with them. You want to talk about what their goals are. You want to direct them with uh, what their needs are. They may buy something and you have no idea. You're like, oh, I didn't want her to buy Boost. I wanted her to buy ProBio. So those kinds of things. Yeah, keep them curious. And that back and forth, that builds a relationship. And they see that you truly want to help them and you want to reach their goals. So um, again, simple ways to, to, to share um, you know, in person, um, social media is big and social media catches a lot of people. When you're making your posts, make sure that they're um, public and not private. Uh, so that somebody likes it, then they can see, oh, so-and-so likes someone's post. So it builds more curiosity. So again, just think about how you sharing could help you. Actually, it helps you out a lot. And I also want you to refer you back to uh, Elizabeth's video and then also Jen's videos from the last two days, uh, last two weeks. And then Kelly is going to be with us this Wednesday, sorry, Thursday, and she's going to be sharing about I've got interest, now what? Okay, so that kind of leads with posting and sharing and now what? So as soon as somebody has interest, what do I do? So Kelly Jackson, uh, Senior Ruby Ambassador, will be with us on well, Thursday night, and she'll be sharing which way to go and how to um, bring people in, whether it's customer, ambassador, what to do. What are those steps to do? You know, like I have interest now, what do I do? Okay, so I hope that this is helpful. I just, I, I'm a total yellow, and I know that it, I feel really good when I help other people. Uh, and I know a lot of you on here are helpers and, and want to do the same. So I just want to keep this in mind if you're new, uh, and if you're also seasoned, this might, these are good things, tidbits to share with your new ambassadors. Um, I'm going to stop the recording now, and then if you have any questions, please.